What is up, Culture Drop? I am Galen. This video is about skilled listening, which is like active listening, but better skilled listening. Boom. So this is basically like a skills lab, like science lab, but with skills. Science, but not science. Skills, Carrie's idea. Like old West gunslinger. This thing doesn't spin. All right, so communication is obviously critical in business because business is about building relationships, both on teams, working with clients, as a leader, et cetera. And uh, in communication, there's a huge difference between just listening to somebody else and making somebody else feel listened to. Very, very different. That is why I prefer the term skilled listening to active listening because I see it as a skill that you can actually focus on and develop as opposed to something that just requires participation to be successful at. Skilled listening is not just what we understand as active listening, which is being present, making eye contact, nodding your head, right, being really alert, but being an exceptional listener and skilled listening um, yes, involves all of those things, as well as the intention of making that other person feel listened to. Great leaders and great employees understand that listening isn't just about information being passed from one person to the next. It really truly is about how you make other people feel in that interaction. When you're interacting to make someone else feel listened to, you're naturally a lot more aware of your own body language. So closing your laptop, putting your phone away, like actually tuning in and making eye contact with them. And it also involves responding in a way to let that person know that you were listening and that you understand their message and what they were saying to you, not just that you heard it come out of their mouth. Here's a list of things that you can do um, to make sure that you are like skilled listening, that you are making other people feel listened to. Number one, repeating back the gist of what was said and summarizing everything for clarity. Number two, asking any follow-up questions if you have any for deeper understanding or more clarity. Number three, asking somebody if they are finished sharing or talking before you respond to them. Number four, acknowledging, which sometimes is just like making eye contact, thumbs up, got it. Number five, my favorite, not done very often, but I think really important, if there's a situation where emotions are high or there's conflict or static, um, right, you just like really wanna sort things out is, to ask somebody if they feel like you heard them and that you understand what they said and that you're on the same page. Okay, there you go. Pretty simple mindset and a couple tips and tools of how to do that well. I think regardless of the context of the interaction, if you go into communication with other people with that simple objective and goal of making them feel listened to, it will automatically level up your communication skill with literally everybody in your life, coworkers, leader, employees, friends, significant other. Uh, it's just like a really important thing to like be aware of and adopt. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.